Gallant Watches, one of my absolute favorite micro brand companies out there. They're ultra affordable watches and have a blend of original designs as well as some more familiar elements where inspiration is adapted to create a variety of styles to fit just about everyone's tastes. Now, whether it be their sun and moon phase dress watch, their panda dials, the tool watch options like their sporty chronograph or dive watch design, or their unique integrated bracelet design, which is made with a solid stainless steel case and Swiss quartz movement. All of these you can get for around the same price or less than a Timex Weekender. And boasting a 97.7% positive feedback rating speaks for itself in terms of their quality and customer service. So why am I telling you all this? Well, honestly, it's because Gallant is a brand that I can get behind. I've worked with them many times and they just released their newest model, the Debonair, which I played a small role in regards to its design. So without further ado, let's check it out. What's up Schwartz Force? Welcome back to the channel. In case if you're new here, my name is Dave. May the Schwartz be with you. And hey, did you know it's a great day to wear a watch? Boom. Today I am rocking this Dufresne Waterloo. This is a micro brand based out of Texas. I actually have the honor of reviewing this along with the Deep Eddy Dive Watch. Now this one is on loan from a good friend of mine who I've actually met recently. We actually swapped a couple watches out. He let me borrow this one, so I can't wait to do the full review on it, as well as the Deep Eddy Dive watch, so stay tuned for that. Now, the Debonair is a watch that has a lot more going on than you would think at first glance. Some notable inspiration is the Breguet style Arabic numerals, of course, as well as the coin edge case shape. But as we take a closer look, you'll see that this isn't such a simple watch. For the measurements, the Debonair has a case diameter of 41 millimeters with the crown that comes out to about 43 and a half millimeters, Lug to lug height is just over 47 millimeters, and case thickness with the dome crystal is just over 10 and a half millimeters at its highest. The lug width is 20 millimeters, which allows for a ton of strap options as you'll see later on. The shorter lug to lug height will allow for this watch to wear on smaller wrists without overhang. The larger case size does give a bit more wrist presence. Now for the features and design of this watch, Unlike the Breguet handset, Gallant has gone with an elegant, thin, spade-shaped hour hand and thin, leaf-shaped minute hand, which I think works well on this watch. The long, needle-shaped second hand has an open circle counterbalance, giving a good mixture of shapes used in the design. Now, the white dial option uses blued hands, whereas the blue dial version uses silver-toned hands, and the green dial option uses gold-toned hands. Now, the easiest to read of the available colors are going to be your white dial versions. The most complex would be the green and gold tone version, using gold tone applied indices set on top of this gorgeous sunburst green dial. The earth tones give a lovely warmth to the watch, and this pairing is my personal favorite for very special reasons, which you can see in this video linked up top if you haven't seen it yet. On the white dial, we have hour markers printed in high gloss black paint. On the blue dial, we have hour markers printed in high gloss white paint. Gallant branding is small and unobtrusive on the dials, which I love. I think that too often we see large fonts and multiple lines of text used, so it's refreshing to see the logo take a backseat on this watch. Now along the chapter ring, we have small simple dot indices printed throughout with slightly larger dots at each hour. Each version of the watch has a mirrored polished ray hot that reflects light from the dial. The watch also has a domed mineral glass crystal, which allows for distortion when viewing from an angle. Now the case is an alloy case metal that has been plated in either a silver tone, gold tone, or rose gold tone. Next, we have to talk about these dials. The blue and green dial feature a brilliant sun ray texture that shifts in various lighting and shadows. On the green dial, we see the color change from black to these rich olive and emerald greens. On the blue dial, we can see the hues shift from black to royal and sapphire blues. 
Now on the white dial, I wanted to show you exactly how Gallant did a painted dial in a way that gives an enamel look. It's not a simple white metallic disc or a flat white dial. You can actually see the paint texture up close. And this was a treat for me to see. I just had to share it with you in these macro shots. Now the movement being used is the Seiko VH31, which is a three hand quartz movement without date complication that beats at two hertz or four ticks per second. Now this was my suggestion to Gallant to use as it gives the charm of a mechanical movement with the benefits of quartz, such as being battery powered and having excellent accuracy. It gives the watch a bit more elegance in my opinion and allows for you to enjoy the smooth sweep even if you don't have the budget for a mechanical or automatic watch. Now the case design is done well, all in high polish with the coin edge on the side throughout, sandwiched between the step dome high polished bezel and the flat stainless steel case back. The lugs are curved slightly downwards and have rounded edges when looking at them from the side. When looking at the lugs from the front, you see that they taper and give a nice modern look to the watch. I love how the coin edge is proportioned well and blends into the bottom layer of the case. When looking at the watch from the front, it gives the appearance of a more basic and common looking watch design but the real treat comes from viewing it at various angles. The push-pull crown is done well with a nice coin edge and flat high polished surface that has the Gallant Shield logo edged into it. The leather straps that the watches come with will have a corresponding color, black with the white dial, blue with the blue dial, and brown straps with either the yellow or rose gold tone cases. I like that the smooth pebbled leather gives the watch a more modern and casual look, it also comes with upgraded quick release spring bars so you can easily swap the straps for a variety of colors and materials. The strap does taper down to 18 millimeters and has a stainless steel tang buckle that matches with the color of the case. Here I'll show you a few of my favorite pairings that showcase the versatility of the Debonair in these various colors. Moving to the back of the watch, we see there is a screw down case back in stainless steel with a nice scenic image etched along with Gallant branding and on the outside edge it has their slogan of start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. I love this inspirational saying and I think it's something we could all use as a reminder from time to time. There's also indication of 50 meters water resistance which I think is perfectly fine for a dress watch like this. It's not something I would wear in the pool or to the beach, and I like that we get a bit more water resistance above the standard 30 meters that you would see in a lot of watches at this price point. Now speaking of price, you may be shocked to know that you can get this watch for $41 if buying on the United States Amazon Prime site or their UAE site, or $35 on sale on AliExpress right now. And I do have a link which is included down below in the description, so that will save you 10% off the Amazon price from now until April 8th, 2022. I also wanted to show you this Timex Weekender Southview, which is comparable in size and materials. However, everything about the Timex is flat and one dimensional. It's also 41 millimeters, has a bronze alloy plated case, but the Gallant gives you VH31 movement, 
a beautiful coin edge case, higher water resistance rating, and a gorgeous enamel style dial or sunray dial with printed or applied indices. Trust me when I say that what you get with Gallant watches is mind blowing at the $40 point. So check them out, give them a chance on the wrist, and you can thank me later. Now I really wanna hear what feedback you guys may have for me with regard to this new model by Gallant. What would you change about the watch, if anything? And how about these color combinations? Drop me a comment, let's talk about it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys and gals at the next one. As always, may the Schwartz be with you. Take care.